Okay, we've got probably about 32 feet, 35 feet to the upper gutter here. Not a lot of room between the houses. So we've got an apron gutter that comes around here with a return. The long gutter on the side of the fire escape and then another gutter underneath this fire escape. We'll go around the other side and see what's involved there. The roof is about a 12-12 pitch, so getting off of these lower roofs would be impossible. The, the upper one, that's about a 9-12 pitch, so we ain't going to walk that either. So everything's going to have to be done by scaffold. There's no real way to get a, a lift back here at all. No, none. <laughs> I'll go around the other side see if that's an option. No. Okay, and here's the front of the house. They got a big round turret <laughs> with no gutter, but even even getting up here, we can we can ladder off. We need a 32 footer. I'll check to see if we can run our uh, maybe do our aluminum pump poles, rent the uh, aluminum pump pole system, and uh, and just fasten it to his walls, and then uh, to get up there with that. But I. Wouldn't be a bad idea to change a lot of his downspouts to three by four too, because he's got a lot of footage coming in here. And he's got big drain tiles, so we, there wouldn't be no restriction there. So uh, the neighbor next door said that uh, the drain tile might need some snaking out, because uh, that's what happens when you don't have a gutter system that's, or have one that's clogging up. But like this could be a two by three leading into the lower still. And this is the same, but these lowers should be changed to a three by four uh, commercial size spout to get more more volume. Now this side here, we can get the ladder up even even then. That's more than 40 foot. That 40 foot ladder would be almost straight up and down. So if we can get the blessing to uh, to set up and and we would have to uh, fasten screw into a siding, which I don't know if he'd be okay with that, but we would take and put our you know, one here with a 24 foot pick and then just, we would just take and scaffold the whole thing straight up. Uh, we could possibly do that, but we got some windows in the way on the other side too. And there's, it'd be nice if we could get our lift back here. Um, but I'm gonna measure this to see what the width is. Uh, Cause sometimes we can get the lifts to cover the, at least this side and that side. In the back, we got plenty of room to set one up in the back. We got some wires here that might be of concern. But I'll check out the width on this uh, between these two houses. And if we can get the, we'd have to move the cans and everything. It looks like we're going to be probably about six and a half, seven feet between the two buildings. But this side here won't be a. This one won't be an option. We'd have to come up with some other some other idea to get here. Possibly pump jack here and pump jack on the corner to get up this one. But each each spot we go to is it's it's gonna take a lot of time to get there. But the only good thing is is once it's done, it's done, they don't have to worry about it. And and I can see their concern. These gutters are packed solid now. We'll see. this uh, I got to see what my height is to the bottom of this awning if this uh, or this little yeah this little wooden awning is if the uh, lift will get underneath it or not I mean, we might have to bring like the ATV to tow it tow it back here so see if we can get it the old college try
Okay, we have got seven feet of width here. Um, we've got about the, I think we got close to seven foot on the height here, but our problem is over here on the house next door, we're seven foot four. We've got a spigot that sticks out that side, which puts us exactly at seven feet from the spigot to the wall. So we got to talk to the neighbor about this one. I don't even know if it's operable or not. This house needs a little work next door. Actually, this house we're looking at needs some, gonna need some siding, but this is all this is all because of a lot of the, the rainwater and the overflow too. So it's causing a lot of that damage. And we're seven foot from the ground to the bottom curve there. So wherever our boom is. I believe I can get one in at some feet, but I don't know what my range will be. We got to be able to get up at least 40 foot with those. So if we can't, it's not going to work because we got to be able to reach out a little bit. So, now that it's going to end up, like I said, just scaffolding and uh, either either pipe scaffolding or pump jacks to get up there, and that will eat up. Just setting the scaffolding off the house will eat up two days.